Welcome to Caribbean Gold Olga, another bombshell case in the P. Diddy saga. Another woman came forth, folks. Yes, the third woman to accuse him of S.A. So, guys, this S.A. is really getting serious because now there's a third woman accusing P. Diddy of S.A. And she has thrown something else in the mix. She says... P. Diddy not only assaulted her, but there was another person who did it with him, Aaron Hall. So let's get into it. Hit the like bell as you come onto the page. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so as yet. And turn on your notification bell, please. So this woman who is going by Jane, though, to protect her identity for now, because we all know if this goes to court, her identity will be out. So she's going by Jane, though, for now. According to Radar Online, the lawsuit says that Diddy is hit with another shocking lawsuit accused of Aaron, a woman with singer Aaron Hall. And that was the big heading. So I guess Aaron Hall better lawyer up. Further goes on, the article further goes on to say that in her lawsuit, the woman is listed as Doe. And she said she met Diddy with a friend at an event. And Diddy and Aaron Hall started to talk to both of them, her and her friend. They bought them drinks. They felt at ease with these guys. So she said after they had their drinks and they got to know the fellas better, she, her friend, Diddy, went to Hall's apartment. She said after she and her friend got to the apartment, they were offered drinks. And then after she drank her drink, Diddy essayed her, and he and Hall took turns in essaying her. She also said her friend was also essayed by these men. So she said as a result, she suffered severe emotional distress over the years of what happened to her that night. She said this happened to her and her friend in either 1990 or 1991. She could not exactly remember what year it was, but she said it was either 1990 or 1991. So she said after this incident happened, Diddy came to her apartment a couple of times. And on one of those occasions, he became very irate and very insultive and began to choke her. She said he choked her to the point in which she passed out and he was looking for her friend. So she said he was really looking for her friend because he didn't want them to spill the beans. And he was dating someone that he did not want them telling what he did to them. So he was really on the search looking for her friend because I guess he figured he had silenced her by threatening her and choking her out and all the insults, etc. Maybe he thought she was afraid. And indeed she was because she didn't speak out all these years. She said it happened in the 90s. So she said after the assault, she went to see the doctor. And she also told family and friends. But I'm telling you guys, if she went to see the doctor after the assault, then she's got it on record that this assault didn't happen because if the doctor checked her and found that maybe she had uh, tearing in the vaginal area. And I'm wondering if maybe the doctor attempted to take semen sample. I'm wondering, I'm just wondering because a lot of women will do that after an R an SA situation, they will not take a shower and they will go straight to the doctor for the doctor to see if they can harvest some of that semen. So Sean Combs camp, of course, is denying all accusations that's coming out of Miss Doe's mouth and said he never <laughs> drugged any woman and it's all falsified just to get a payday. So that's the third essay lawsuit in one week. The first one was Cassie and then we had Dickerson and now we have Miss Doe. So <laughs> we don't know where all these lawsuits are going to end up. We knew where we know where Cassie's end up in a settlement, but these are the two. We don't know if they're going to settle out of court or if it's going to go to court. So Ms. Doe is claiming it was either 1990 or 1991. Dickerson is claiming that it was 1990. And she said she was a college student at the time. So what are we talking here, folks? Are we talking about a serial artist? 
Is that what we're talking about? In Dickerson's case, she said she felt as though he had done something to her because her knees were weak when she followed him back to the home where he essayed her. So what are we talking about here, folks? Are we talking about date rape? Is that what went on here? I don't know. It's all alleged. But Ms. Dickerson said that she felt as though Didi had drugged her when she went back to his home. And here we hear Miss Doe is saying she and her friend went back to Aaron Hall's house with Didi. These are explosive allegations, guys. I don't know what kind of relationship Aaron Hall is in right now. But if he's married with children, this has got to be very explosive for his family. But Dickinson also alleges that he secretly recorded her put it out there for all to see all his friends. And so people came back to tell her that sh they saw the video. So now Ms. Doe is saying it happened to her friend also the same night. Both of these men, Diddy and Aaron Hall, essayed both of them. So I'm looking for a fourth lawsuit. I'm wondering if the friend filed or maybe she decided not to pursue it. So Ms. Doe must have filed just in the nick of time also because Ritter online said they acquired the courtroom documents that they alleged filing documents. They have it and they put it out there. This is why they are coming forth with a story. That's the latest update, folks. Drop your comments. Don't forget to hit the like bell, subscribe to the channel. I'll bring you any updates that I may come across. Thank you for watching.